Hello, welcome to lesson 19, Inheritance in C-Sharp, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we'll learn the pillars of object-oriented programming. The pillars of object-oriented programming includes inheritance, encapsulation, abstraction, and polymorphism. But right now in this session, we are going to concentrate only on inheritance. And later, we'll learn why inheritance, inheritance syntax, and the advantages of inheritance in the coming slides. Right now, we'll see why inheritance is needed. When you here, I'm having two classes, full-time employee and part-time employee. When you observe these two classes very carefully, you'll come to know there are some properties and field, some properties and methods which are common in both the classes. For example, first name, last name, email, and the method print full name is common in both the classes. You can observe it here very carefully. Now, from here, I from here we can come to know a lot of code between the two classes is common. Now the job of inheritance will start. How, how it starts we'll see in the coming slide. Here since lot of properties and methods are common in same or common in the same classes what I've done is I've grouped all the properties and the method which are common to both. So I made that class as employee class and this is where the inheritance starts. Now, when I've made this employee class as common class to both the employees, that is full-time employee and part-time employee, and I'll call this common class as base class. You can see here, move all the common code into a base class employee. Now, the employee is the base class. It's the base to both the type of employees, that is part-time and full-time employee. Now, you can observe in the previous slide, only one property is common to the respective one property is common to the respective employees for example the salary varies for each of the employees here you can observe for a full-time employee the salary is yearly based and for a part-time employee the salary is hourly based so here only the one field is different to each of them now when it is in this case at that time what we have to do we have to give their respective properties in the derived class. For example, this is the base class. I'm having other two classes called derived class. Derived class means they, they'll be having their own set of properties. For example, full-time employee gets salary in the form of yearly based and part-time employee will get salary in the hourly rate. This is the difference between the full-time employee and part-time employee. What I've done is full-time and part-time employee specific code that is yearly salary and hourly rate is the employee specific code in the respective derived class so we call these two classes as derived classes now this is the base class now we'll see how inheritance works to understand it very clearly we'll jump into a presentation i'll fire up visual studio here i'm having a project called inheritance demo now we'll see how do we understand inheritance here. To understand it very clearly, as we saw in the presentation, I have to, I have to create a base class called employee. So, public class employee, I have created a class. Once I have created a class, you can observe what are the common properties between two types of employees. They are first name, last name, email, and print full name method. Okay. Now, first I'll give first name the common properties first name and I'll copy this or to save time I'll paste it every time okay now I'll just rename it to last name and this to email And you can observe we have, I also have one common method between the two employees that is print full name. We'll public void print print full name. Okay. This is the base class employee class employee class is having the common properties which should be shared among two type of employees that is first name last name and email and also the 
common method that is print full name. Once I'm having the base class, now I have to now I have to now my job is to create the derived classes. What are the derived classes? You can observe here full time employee and the part time employee are the derived classes and they are having their own set of properties and here the property is the salary. Full time employee will be having the yearly salary and part time employee will be having the hourly rate salary. Now we'll see it. Now we'll create a class public class for full time employee. Now he is having his own property called yearly salary. Yearly. Okay. Now I'll create another class similarly for part time public class part time employee. Hourly rate. I to give semicolon here. I also missed it here. I'll just do it. Now I have to make this field public so I can access outside the class. Give it to them also. And I'll make these fields also public. Once I made these fields as public, now I'm having a base class and a derived class. Base class is employee class and the derived classes are full time employee and part time employee. Now I want these employee class properties, common properties to be present in both full time and part time employee. At that time what we'll do, we'll use inheritance. How do we do inheritance? It's very simple to press colon. Then I have to call the respective base class name. Here the base class name is employee. Now when I do this, what are the properties in the employee class will be able to access by the full time employee class and also the property by the full time employee. It means that whatever the properties in the employee class will be visible to full time employee. Now similarly, if you want I want to do it for part time also. This is how the inheritance implementation happens. Now once I have implemented the base class and the derived class and I have also called the base class to a derived class. Now once I have done with this, my next job is I have to create an object of the class. Then I have to access the properties of both base and the derived class. How do I do that? Now I will access the classes of full time employee. I will take the variable name as FTE full time employee new full time employee. Now you can observe when I use that object FTE dot I will be able to access all the properties in the base class that is email first name last name and yearly salary and also the method print full name. This is the specialty of inheritance. Now what I'll do, I'll access the first name, I'll store it as Hank Pro. Similarly, last name, I'll store it as Technologies and email. Ankpro at gmail.com and I have left it left out with this method. Now let us implement this method also. What this method will do? It will print the full name. So I have to use console dot right line tap tab then first name. I'll give a space between them. Last name. Now I'll call this method also. How do I call? I'll call using the full time employee object. Print full name method. Sorry. I'll use print 
Lay. Okay. Now, last thing is salary FT. Here the salary. Therefore, the salary will be for a full-time employee like the term of lakhs. Okay. Now. just print this email I'll just print the salary okay similarly I can do it for part-time employee also I'll do it right now part-time employee great object as PTE part-time employee new part-time employee using that object I can access and observe here part-time employee is also getting the properties of the base class that is employee and also the properties that is defined in it that is hourly rate you can observe here that is that is the advantage of using inheritance first name Hank Pro Last name Training Email Hank Pro Training at Gmail dot com Then I'll print that email. Before that, I would like to call a method print full name. Now, once I'm having this, I want a salary to be printed. this hourly rate salary for a part-time employee you'll get thousand for an hour and we'll print that also control C and control V now before printing that details of time employee just copy this and I'll paste it here also and just alter here part-time employee now my program is ready what I have done is I have created a base class the base class name is employee and I've created two derived classes and two derived classes also inheriting the properties from the base class and when I try to create object of the derived classes I, I will be able to access the properties of the base class as well that's what I'm doing here now when I print this piece of when I run this program it has to print me the details of both employee and part-time employee and full-time employee now the build has started we'll wait for a while once it is done file is being scanned by us let's wait for that once it is done you can observe here the details of full-time employee its first name is Ang Pro and the last name is technologist and Ang Pro at gmail.com is the mail ID and the salary for full-time employees yearly basis is earning five lakhs and details of part-time employee its name is Ang Pro training first name and last name mail ID is Ang Pro training at gmail.com and the hourly rate you'll get thousand rupees this is what the specialty of inheritance and it works as defined now we'll jump back into presentation here what is inheritance inheritance it's one of the primary pillar of object-oriented programming keep in mind if you want to learn polymorphism 
the rest of the object oriented programming before you should learn the inheritance that is the specialty of inheritance creating a new class from an existing class is called inheritance yes we did it now creating a new class from an existing class is called inheritance the example you are having two classes that is full time employee and part time employee from that class we created a new class that is base class and from the base class we access all the properties to the respective derived classes therefore we created a new class from the existing class that is called inheritance the class that is inherited is called as base class the class that does the inheritance is called derived class means whatever the properties the class is giving to other class that class is called base class in this example it is employee employee is the base class and the class that does the inheritance is called as derived class these are the classes which are taking the properties inheriting the properties from the employee class therefore these classes are called that is full time employee and part time employee classes are called derived classes okay now we'll see the inheritance syntax as we learned public class employee this is a, the base class now we are inheriting the base class to our class and that class we called as full time employee we called as derived class derived class is the one which is inheriting the properties from the base class it's very simple advantages of inheritance the main advantage of inheritance is it allows code reuse as we saw in the employee and employee class the major code which were between the two classes that is part time and full time employee we made it into one class and we reused that class in the both part time employee and full time employee that is the speciality of inheritance and what is the use of code reuse code reuse can reduce time errors time instead of writing those lengthy of codes in both the classes we can make use of code reuse and that makes your application effective and it also reduces the time and errors these are the major advantages of inheritance thank you please subscribe to anchor training below have a great day